Hi and welcome to another edition of winemastery.co.uk. We're here all to tell you about wine. My name's John Lightford and this is... <laughs> John Murphy. I'm the dummy, he's the expert. To a certain extent. I don't know, you're doing very well. Oh, well. Oh, lots of fans, lots of fans. Really? Oh, we have fans? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes like both a... of them. How is your wife doing? <laughs> <laughs> I got that. <laughs> so anyway, I want to get on because we're going to taste a wine, I'm not sure this is in the mm. second part, not well, this part, but a wine I've actually heard of that's very, very posh. So, um, yes. but I'm going to compare that. It might be this wine that I enjoy more than the really posh wine. Quite possibly, quite yes. possibly. Well, as we said in the beginning, we're, we're trying to, because we've, we've gone to Burgundy, we're trying to kind of make it as simple as we can because it's, it's a very complicated, very complex kind of a, a place because you go from, like, we're looking at a sub-region within Burgundy which is called Bone, and within Bone there, there, there's a lot of kind of different sub-regions there. So we're looking at two of the kind of more uh, famous ones. We're looking at, uh, the first one is Merceau, which is a white. So we'll have a glass. Okay, a white. Yes. Now, yes, it's very, it's very difficult to kind of put, the only thing we can do really to go through all this is try all the regions. So that is basically what we're going to do. Okay. I think that's going to be the best bet for okay. it. Okay. So I would say, um, this is a Merceau. Now a Merceau basically, um, again, in France, they, they name a lot of the kind of wines in the region or the chateau, um, as opposed to telling you what the actual grape is. <clears throat> this is actually a Chardonnay grape. Okay. So it's how oaked or unoaked? Uh, oaked. Oaked. Generally, yeah, the Merceau does tend to be oaked. That's the practice of oaking. You see how I've got? I wouldn't know where to ask that question uh, six months ago. No, would you I? wouldn't. No, uh -huh. eh? you're, you're on it there. Right. But, so. But to be fair, looking at that colour as as an. As an oak, especially an oak chardonnay, I would expect that to be a lot more yellow in colour. That's actually yep. more lemony. You'd probably call that sort of hay coloured, and I'd probably call it straw coloured. <laughs> you say tomato. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, for e even doing that there, I mean, I don't know if you can, but I can smell that coming already. Now, I must admit, We've, we've just we've gone through Chardonnays on, on many of, of the episodes, and I must admit, like Un Oak Chardonnay has been a favourite of mine for a very very long time, and I reckon it's one of the most underrated uh, uh, wines. And I definitely, if you get the chance, do try it. But there's something to be said about kind of oaked Chardonnays as well, depending on how how you do it. Like for instance, I know I've discussed the um, the kind of um, Australian Chardonnays tend to heavily oak. Um, Heavily oaked them, but, but this is quite lightly oaked, and that's, I'm hoping that's going to come through um, on the nose and both on the palate. Okay. Can we have a look at that? Can definitely smell the oak there. Yes. And I, I can, this is going to make it sound uh, awful, but it's, it's not it's not awful smell, but it's sort of like the nearest I can get to it, which is my lack of uh, adjectives for Just wanted. wait for it, wait for it, go on. <laughs> is there a musky? Uh... Yeah, I'll give you musky, that, that's, that is the oakiness in there. Is it? Yeah, it's like it, does, it does give that kind of musky, kind of almost half oxidised, if you know yeah. what I mean. When I say, you know, a wine, an oxidised wine is sometimes where the, um, the cork is, has dried out as such, so the oxygen gets in there and kind of it, it turns it off slightly. And that has been a trick for um, <coughs> a, a few winemakers that have made Chardonnay and want to give it that kind of the the, the oaky flavour. Basically, they just kind of oxidise the wine very slightly, uh, and as such, it does give it that half oaky kind of flavour. Okay, hmm? so giving it slightly off. Yeah, yeah. That, well, that's it. Yeah. Now, to be fair, this. Uh, it smells creamy. Yeah, I wouldn't recognise that as a Chardonnay if I was, if you know, not I <coughs> recognise much, but... but no, but the Chardonnay does more kind of... The, I think the, what you're going to get more on the flavour. A Chardonnay has more kind of tropical fruits in there, um, almost kind of lychee and pineapple, and that comes through on the nose. But that, for me, the, the predominant the predominant flavour in there is the oak, even though it doesn't look like oak. Yeah, it just smells like cream. Mm. Oh, not cream. Yeah, cream. Yeah, I'm sticking with that. I'm not buying any from your milkman. <laughs> Why not? If it's like this. Oh well, uh, that's a fair point. <laughs> right, right. Let's okay. have a go. Right. Oh. Oh wow. Mm, well. Oh well. Oh well, oh. indeed. Oh. That has got a massive. Can I have another bit? There's about six flavours going on there. And massively powerful as well. It just kind of hits mm. you straight off. Whoa. Right again, oak, 
Orchid is a predominant flavour in there for me. It has a, a, a kind of hint of like a white pepper. You know, white pepperiness. Okay. And then it starts to introduce those kind of. On the finish, that's when those kind of. Oh, the acidity's got that. On the finish, that's where the kind of. Um, the more. The, those tropical fruits come in, that more kind of peachy. I was. My, my first tastes were lemon and melon. Melon? I'll go with melon. Yeah? Yeah. I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say lemon. I can't taste that same as I've referred to it musky as you refer to it oak taste. I can't, in the taste, I can't as much as in the uh, nose. Perhaps not coming through on the nose, but it's definitely the predominant flavour in there is the, the oakiness for me. Really? Mm. It's got real kind of sharp acidity in there as well. It's quite apparent as the acidity, but something that's not kind of spoiled the wine, if you know what I mean, because a lot of the acidity, acidic wines, um, you know, Sauvignons do especially kind of, I say, struggle. It is a style, so they're not particularly struggling. A lot of the kind of Sauvignons, <coughs> The acidity can hit you quite hard, and that can be everything you concentrate on. That, the acidity's in there, really smashes you, but then tones down because that kind of tropical fruit softens it out a little bit. But the length on there as well, that is... Yeah, it's a pretty unique taste. Mm, it, it, well, but then again, we are looking at, you know, cla <laughs> these are the classy wines and, and wines that can only be made this way in this in this certain part of, of the world. You know, they are known for having a style like I this. I can tell you're building up to the price. <laughs> do, you want, do you want a seat, John? <laughs> well, this this Merceau. Now, I, before we kind of go on the price, how, yeah. how much? Well, I don't know if I should ask you this. <laughs> how, how much would you pay for 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 that? Now, bear in mind, I tell you, it's it's not a cheap one. It isn't. It's not. Well, you can tell you can tell that though from the flavour. You're not. You know, you're not going to pick that up for six quid okay. from Mazda. Okay. So. Very it is, it is very special, um, so again, if it was Christmas, I'd have to have a lot of Christmases in my year at okay, this rate. But if this was Christmas, um, I'd go sort of 30 quid, 32 oh. quid. You're not far off, 39.99, 40 quid okay. for the test of that's not, that's, you weren't wildly out there. No, probably my Yorkshire conservatism bringing me <laughs> slightly off. <laughs> probably, John, probably. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you, can, you can definitely taste that this is a wine of... I know these guys have been making it for hundreds and hundreds of years, and this is why this is why they command such a price as well. And and, and you cannot blame them uh, for it because you're not going to find anything like that anywhere else. No, it, it, is, it is it is unique, and it will come from just this area. So, so you, going back to what you were saying, actually, you know, I guess this this confirms it. You, you in terms of price, you were saying you can get a good bottle of twenty five around twenty five pounds. Over and above that, you're you're paying for either rarity, uh, uh, exclusivity, or yeah, that yeah. And this does fall into that bracket. Yeah. But it is, a, it, you know, it is a stunner, it is a, and you can't deny it. And as much as you kind of, you know, I always say France, they make some fantastic wines, but they charge a pretty penny for it as well, which they're allowed to when they're making that. Euros now. Euros, really? <laughs> they charge. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, John. Thank you. <laughs> but no, I'm, I'm very pleased with that. And again, you know, 40 quid, would you pay it? If it's a special occasion, I would say yes. But that's something that, again, which I wouldn't share this. This wouldn't be, you know, I, I wouldn't be not letting my friends drink. Would you not? <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> this would be mine. They wouldn't, they wouldn't, I don't know if they'd appreciate it, so I'd, I'd be keeping it. Well, that's true, actually. Yeah. 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 Me if somebody didn't appreciate it <coughs> um, and they were just popping it back, then you'd be much better spending buying two bottles. Or yeah, maybe four. Yeah, probably four. But many a time, I mean, not all my friends do appreciate why not, but I've got to that point where, you know, I want them to, and so, like, I'll be, I, and they probably get bored of me because, like, I'll, I'll take something out of the cell and I'll be saying, right, let's try this, and I'll wax lyrical about it, and they'll be like, yeah, it's all right. So, you just don't, don't do that anymore. I've no. learned valuable lessons. Yeah, he's talking about me now. Mm -mm. <laughs> not at all, John. <laughs> Bob on round, I've got a really nice one for you. <laughs> <laughs> but no, all, all in all, and yeah, this is the Merceau, and again, it's generally Chardonnay that they do grow, grow there. Like we said, the Chablis, Chablis is also a, a region there. The Chablis is known to grow the best Chardonnay grapes in the world, but then that's a matter of taste, isn't it? I mean, after the Chardonnays we tried, what, yep. not so long ago, what would you think about that instead of uh, a Chablis? Um, I prefer that to Chablis. In yeah. fact, uh, the, the crew, which was getting off a similar sort of price, I It think, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would much rather have this, 100% yeah. rather have this, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, yeah. And pay that extra money. <laughs> well, it, was, it wasn't much more than the crew was quite expensive, wasn't what it? What with the premier was that twenty nine ninety nine? I was around around with thirty quid, yeah. Yeah. So you pay the extra uh, an extra ten of that, John? No, I was talking about my price. <laughs>
32, I think I said. Yeah. Well, fair enough. But, 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 but this is one Merceau, and again, there are lots of kind of like little uh, uh, you can buy from different producers of Merceau. So this isn't, you know, it's, it's by far not the most expensive, but obviously it's not the cheapest either. No. Well, so you're saying it's actually lower range in that area? Yeah. Well, it, this is probably mid range for Merceau. Yeah. Thirty nine nine. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. I know. Oh. Perhaps, perhaps. When is your birthday, John? <laughs> we'll, we'll try one of the uh, more expensive ones and see what happens. Huh? Oh. I know. I away. I don't know where I might. I don't know where I'll take it. I'll, 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 <laughs> I'll be so concerned. I'll be calculating each sip. How much is that? I'll, I'll, I'll warn you well in advance when we're when we're doing that. Oh, one. goodness for that. Oh, <laughs> very nice indeed. Well, I'm really pleased with that. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Good. That's what I did. So we're getting to the other one. That I, I think that actually the the Nui is going to have to Nui Saint George. Nui Saint George. Yeah. Nui Saint George is going to have to go some to beat that. I yeah. Have to say. Yeah. Well, well, you don't know. You well. well uh, I'm going to be interested to see what you think of the Nui Saint George. Well, well, let's get to it. Huh? Let's go over it. We'll see you there. Chin chin. Cheers.